Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw production possibility frontiers, so that's PPFs, from information about productivity. And I didn't really know if that title was descriptive. The sorts of questions that I'm thinking about are ones like these where, well, I have Mary who can make at most 20 cricket bats or at most 40 bicycles and we're asked to draw Mary's PPF. So if I was going to draw Mary's PPF, I can start by drawing two axes and I'm going to label each of the axes with one of the goods that we're producing, so cricket bats or bicycles. I can label our goods on either axes, it doesn't matter which, so I'm going to put cricket bats on the vertical and bicycles on the horizontal. Now points within our axes, well they describe various combinations of cricket bats and bicycles. So this point 15, 15, well that's 15 bicycles and 15 cricket bats. This point, well that corresponds to 10 bicycles and 25 cricket bats. We know from the table that at most Mary can produce 20 cricket bats and at this point all of Mary's resources then are being put towards making cricket bats and this means that if Mary makes 20 cricket bats she will make zero bicycles because she has no resources left to make bicycles. And this means that our vertical axis intercept will be 20 because this point corresponds to well 20 cricket bats and zero bicycles. In a similar way, I can tell that the horizontal axis intercept is 40, since we know, well, if Mary fully specializes in bicycles, she can make 40, and at this point, because she's putting all of her resources towards making bicycles, she will make zero cricket bats. And what we do then is we just join these two points together like this, and that's our PPF. The line here will tell us about all of the possible combinations of cricket bats and bicycles that Mary can make uh, if she uses all of her resources. Now it is worth noting that the PPF slope is equal to the opportunity cost of producing the horizontal axis good, so in this case bicycles. And this means that in examples like this where I just joined the two points together in a straight line, well we're assuming that the opportunity cost of producing bicycles uh, for Mary is constant as she produces more, more bicycles. And actually this sort of assumption is very common in these sorts of questions. And if we just do the sums we might as well, so slope is rise over run. Well to get between our two intercepts there's two perfectly good points. I can fall 20 so that's negative rise and I would run uh, to the right 40 and so I get negative a half. And this means that when Mary produces one more bicycle, she gives up half of a cricket bat. Uh, for instance, let's go from, well, if we were going from making 20 cricket bats and zero bicycles, if we increased the number of bicycles by one, we would give up half of a cricket bat. So we're left with 19.5 cricket bats. So there are heaps of other things to say about PPFs, but I'll leave this video as it is for now. I hope that the video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. I uh, hope you guys are keeping safe and happy.